I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Munir Mirza, General Manager of Amazon AppStream. Welcome. Thanks, Jeff. What is AppStream all about? Well, uh, Amazon AppStream is a fully managed streaming application service. Uh, it's meant to securely deliver desktop applications from AWS to any desktop uh, or any device. Um, it is meant to address all the issues with scale, with security that comes with deploying uh, and managing large applications to end users within an enterprise. What problems did we set out to solve when we built this? There's three sort of key things, I think, that we heard from customers. One, uh, supporting multiple computers and operating systems. People found it um, very tricky to deploy applications across a plethora of different OSs and OS versions that people had on their desktops, um, and just a, a variety of different desktops and, and laptops that were supported out there. The second thing is actually securing the applications and the data generated and associated with those applications. Customers were concerned with you know, the data at rest on the devices and how it actually got back and forth between their services um, and their end users. And lastly, you know, it's just scale. You know, in, the, in the typical AWS fashion, you know, wanting to make sure that you have this service that is centrally managed, that is uh, pay-as-you-go, you, you pay for what you use, um, and you don't have to worry about setting up and managing the infrastructure, the compute required to uh, deploy your applications. Okay, so what actual code resides on the user's desktop when they're using an application that's powered by AppStream? Well, one of two things. Uh, it could be that native client. Um, it's a Windows 32 client that, that is there today. Uh, or it's just your browser. Um, and, and actually, that's how AppStream got started, was just you know delivering these applications via the browser. And I think that that's exactly what we wanted to go for insofar as a value proposition, that it would be very easy to make your applications ubiquitous. So they either hit a URL with the browser, or they install the client once, and then, and then that's they're, it. they're up and running. Yeah, and then you access your applications as if you're just invoking them by double tapping it like you would otherwise. Why do our customers like this? They like it for a lot of different reasons. Uh, in the enterprise, what we're seeing is it gives access to uh, that application that is part of your sort of line of business. Um, what we found talking to a lot of enterprise customers was that they, they're saying, hey, like I have to buy this expensive software uh, and this expensive hardware that goes on with it. Um, why do I need to do both? I need the software for my employees to get their job done, um, but I'm paying for this hardware that's sitting idle at their desk for the majority of the day. How can I balance those costs much better? Um, in in the uh, public sector, you have uh, schools, for instance, like EDU, that are setting up uh, trials and, and pardon me, setting up classrooms, uh, setting up these virtual labs uh, that you have ongoing. Um, and then the last thing are these software vendors, um, or independent software vendors, or ISVs as we like to call them. Uh, they're doing a variety of different things with them, from demos, uh, from training materials to trials. Uh, and some of my favorite use cases that I'm seeing is these ISVs are using AppStream to enable uh, the SaaSification or software as a service uh, of their software for customers. So effectively giving them a new business model to deliver. Totally new business model, and it's a, it's a write once and deliver it uh, however many times as you would like. Hmm. I also get the sense if, if I'm an admin, I don't have to worry about the variety of different Windows desktops and patch levels and versions that are out there. That's anymore. exactly that is exactly one of the key problems that we wanted to eliminate. You know, we, we just wanted to make it easy for this service to be centrally managed. Um, you know which version of the app the customer is using is deployed. Um, if they call your help desk, you don't have to ask them like, hey, which one did you install? Is it the latest one? Um, what's happening? Are you up to date with the latest security patches, etc.? That stuff is stuff that we want to take care of. Sure. Now, how does the admin go about preparing an, an application to be used within AppStream? Yeah, so uh, it starts by creating an image. Um, and so first thing, you, you create your sort of base operating system image. Uh, on top of that, you layer on the application uh, within that image. Um, and then you deliver that image uh, to your fleet. Um, and, and that's basically the, the you know, straightforward way that we've set up for customers to get going with AppStream. Okay. Yeah. What kind of feedback are you getting from our customers? Lots of really, really positive feedback. So uh, some of our customers, uh, for instance, Multiview, uh, it's a financial services company um, that, that uses it um, exactly in that scenario that I described, where you know, they, they've taken uh, AppStream as a way to sassify um, their software. Uh, they would otherwise have to rewrite for all these different platforms. This is the easiest way to accomplish that for them, um, and it's allowed them to focus on their core value, which is being this financial services uh, software company. Um, we're, we're also seeing, you know, uh, some trials and, and demos that are being set up. Uh, MathWorks is a company that, uh, you know, very famously, they have a piece of mathematical software called MATLAB. Um, they, they go through a bunch of higher education places, um, and they 
deliver these trainings uh, with AppStream, they've been able to save 75% of the time required to actually deliver these trainings and set up for these mm -hmm. trainings. So fairly, fairly substantial uh, in so far as you know, making it easier for them to get going with, the, with just doing the training. Um, and lastly, you know, th there's a company called Core Expert uh, with whom we've had a chance to work with. Th they're cool because you know, they're both a partner that, that's working to get AppStream out to customers, but also using it internally themselves. Um, and, and they have a very famous you know, ERP software, SAP, um, that they deliver a GUI via uh, AppStream to their end users as well. So really, really exciting in a whole variety of different ways that customers are engaging with our service. Mm. Now, it used to be the case that, that IT always had to give their, their user base the latest and greatest PCs to make sure that they were capable enough to run the latest and greatest OS and software. Yeah. Does this mitigate that? that kind of forced upgrade model well, somewhat? Well, as an end user, I always hope that my IT team is going to give me the latest and greatest PCs. But, but realistically. But <laughs> it, it absolutely decouples them. Uh, there's no two ways about it, right? Like, and, and it allows the IT team to be very cost effective. It allows the user to have access to the latest software that they need to be able to get their job done. Um, and so, yeah, those two things are decoupled, and you can think about that much more uh, simply as an IT person. Perfect. Yeah. Any other things we need to discuss? No, I know. You know, you can go to our website and try it out. That's probably the the most important thing. Uh, there's a live demo right there. Excellent. This is Jeff Barr. I've been speaking with Munir Mirza, general manager of Amazon AppStream. You can follow the link on the screen. And thanks so much for watching.